Stipe Miocic and John Jones, apparent goat. Uh, John Jones is gonna win the fight, in my opinion. However, I don't believe it's as cut and dry as people think. The last time we seen Stipe, he lost to uh, Francis Ngannou. He got his ass whooped by Francis Ngannou, and he clearly has slowed down some. But it could be just the fact that Francis improved so much. Then he took four years off, so we don't really know where France, where Stipe is. But here's the thing: John Jones is coming back off an injury. So there's some intrigue there. I say smart money says John Jones wins, but it's not like Stipe don't know how to wrestle. And it's not like Stipe is fool with the hands either. And it's not like Stipe don't hit hard. So he has a chance. If he has if he's the Stipe that we saw before, then he can still fight. But this sounds like I'm talking by talking like talking about Mike Tyson right now. Like, is Stipe Miocic Mike Tyson? Are we hoping that he's still as good as he was four years ago? He ain't fighting. F- was it longer than four years? It's been a long time. Yeah, no, I know it's been a long time. John Jones arguably has fought a year ago. A year, it was only a year ago when he fought Gun. Yes. But even so, is that a fight? No. Exactly. I would put it back to say John Jones ain't fought since whenever the whenever his last title fight was. All I'm saying is they're like both him. diminished. John Jones has been watched for a long time. He lost. I don't care what uh, Phil Rowe has to say about the matter, <laughs> buddy. He lost to what's his name? What's his name? Tiago Santos. No, the guy after that. Dominic Reyes. Dominic Reyes. I, T- Tiago, I say he lost. Tiago there. Santos was after Dominic Reyes. Was it? And he had no knee cartilage. But he had both of all the ligaments. And his knees were gone for three rounds. I believe he lost both of those fights. But here's the thing. He lost, but he didn't look like he didn't belong in the MMA anymore. He just looked like he wasn't the king Steve of the 205 Bay, I anymore. I feel like Stipe about to put beats on him, if I'm honest. Beats by Dre? Yes. Beats by Stipe. Beats by Stipe. Um, I just can't, I can't in good faith say that. You know what I'm saying? It, smart money says John Jones. However, I'm just saying Stipe has a good chance. All I'm, but I'm going off this. There have been three times where we were watching John Jones fight, and we were like, "This nigga's washed." When he was at 205, and yes. Stipe, I've been I've been sounding the wash bells for Stipe, a long time. Nigga. Stipe, even in the fight that he lost against um, Ngannou. I, we weren't watching that saying he got watched. We're watching that saying you got punched by Francis Ngannou, money. Yeah, but Ngannou was beating his ass. Though. He was beating him in every facet of the fight. He was winning, yeah. But that's because the thing is, Stipe went in there and thought it was. I can't. Stipe went in there and thought it was going to be the same fight. Okay, went so went in there and tried to wrestle him, and he's like, "Oh no, he can wrestle now." And then Francis Ngannou was like, "Oh, we going to the hands." And then he was like, "More patient." Stipe is really bad at game planning. Stipe doesn't know how to recognize uh, a weakness and exploit it. Unless your name is Daniel Cormier. But no, so listen to this. Daniel Cormier, every time he's ever been hit to the body, has acted like someone has shot him with a shotgun. <laughs> so remember, Anderson Silva kicked him in the body, and this is... <laughs> so you would think, if you're game planning for him, and he's even oh, fatter, you would try to throw body shots, right? Yeah. So he threw the body shots... Out of nowhere, it was just on the fly, right? He came up with that. His team didn't notice that. Okay, whatever. He threw the body shot. He knocked him out. He won the fight. Next fight, nigga didn't throw not one body shot. The body shot happened in the second fight. No. Yeah. Well, yeah, there was three fights, though. Yeah, and Steve A won two of them. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. He lost the first fight in the first round. Lost the second the fight, fight, he hit him with the body, body shot, shot yeah. and then and knocked the him out. Fight. He didn't throw not one body shot. That's what I'm saying. He's an idiot, and that's what I'm saying. His game plan, his game plan in his trash, and so John Jones, in contrast, is psycho with the game plan. Is psycho with learning all your faults and everything. That's why when he gets unless your name is Dominic Reyes and you have a foot less of reach, and for some reason you're hooking him to death. Yeah, I mean he's kind of washed. But what I'm trying to say is that the problem. This is what I'm thinking. The reason why John Jones was so locked in this, to fighting Stipe is because he learned, he did the serial killer shit and learned him so much, he doesn't want to fight somebody else because then he has to do the same thing for them. 
I agree with you. That's what I truly believe. You then I feel like John Jones is beyond the part where now you can learn all that, you can do all that. Then you have to do it. Because the thing is, it's the same thing with Henry Cejudo. We talked about that. We was like, excellent game plan, excellent team. Then you have to go in there and actually do it. And Rob is just like, can you do it? Apparently not. Because you're getting kind of old, man. And you ain't fought in a while. So I'm going to pick you up. It's but we can't we forward. can't stay that because Stipe is older and ain't fought in longer. That's what I'm saying. Like, how can you be so sure John is watching and going to lose when they both come in with the same accolades? It's just John is less than his. Real, realistically speaking, bro, the last time John Jones fought was not Gone. Gone was not a fight. But that was at a different weight class. No, but what I'm trying to say is that you're trying to say his last real fight he lost in your view, even though he won on the judges' scorecard. In my view. But what I'm trying to say is like, that was at 205. Yes. So the people there are faster. Yes. They have better stamina. They're lighter. They're lighter, but they have more skills at you 205 have, than they do at you heavyweight. Have more stamina because heavyweight is arguably the worst weight class in every facet of fighting. I agree with you, brother. So that's what I'm trying to say. It's different. So Stipe was beating up on other niggas who were trash. But I do believe that there's something. But remember. There were other people who tried to move up and wait, and then they went to take somebody down. It was just like, hold on, little nigga. We don't know what you think this is. I, that ain't going to be John. John a big-ass nigga, too. So. I don't believe it, man. I don't believe it. I know you don't, but I'm saying it's just there's no <laughs> evidence to say that Stipe isn't just as watch. He got knocked out the fuck out in his last fight, and yeah. he's been going for four years. But that's all you got. If all you got to say that Stipe is watch is that... He hasn't fought in a long time, and he got knocked out by Francis Ngannou. To me, that's not watch. Like to me, that's just you got hit by somebody. We're not talking about John a long Jones. time. We're talking about four years. Yes. You don't get better at something by not doing it. And John Jones was watched. For Look a at long Mike time. Tyson. Four years, a lot can change, man. And I'm saying John Jones just fought and looked like heavyweight was hot knife buttered style. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is like what I see what you're saying. I agree with you that John Jones isn't a lock, but you can't turn around and then say Stipe is. That just doesn't make any sense. He has all the same flaws John Jones has. Or all the same like tape. I disagree. But it ain't my show. Go ahead. Well, that's it. That's all we really want to say. John okay, I'm gonna say this. John Jones wrestling has degraded a whole lot. He's not as a lockdown takedown artist as he used to be at all. Like, and if he can't take down Stipe, that's where his main thing comes from. He's not the greatest boxer at all. His best thing is his kicks, his distance control, and his variance and strikes. John Jones will throw a straight kick, then he'll throw a right jet, the right hand, then he'll throw a kick to the head, then he'll throw a left hand to the body. He switches up his targets and he switches up the weapons that he uses. Then he'll spin for an elbow. Then he'll try to take down. Then he'll throw an uppercut. Then he'll kick you in your leg. It's hard. He throws one strike at a time, but he always picks a new target at a different distance. And shout outs to Luke Thomas. Uh, he's the one who pointed that out. Um, but yeah, he always, that's that's what he's good at with uh, fighting. And then um, Stipe Miocic, he's more of a boxer puncher. Um, he doesn't have the cleanest boxing on earth, but he, he has good hands. He's a little slow. He's always been a little foot slow, um, but he was always a decent athlete, and he has good wrestling. He's trained with uh, uh, a lot of good wrestlers. What's the um, Curtis Blades is one of his training partners, to which John Jones put out, bringing in a black guy to train with is not going to get you ready for me, Stipe. <laughs> what? <laughs> but he's always been a decent wrestler. He's always been good with his hands, and I do believe he has a fighting chance, but I do say the best money's on John Jones. John Jones, ladies and gentlemen. Um, John Jones is also ducking, uh, what's my man's name? Oh, Tom Aspinall. Tom Aspinall. Remember when I said that on Tapping In? Tommy Two-Tone. I said, John Jones don't want it with the white boy? Yeah. Remember when I said that? I mean, I said, he don't want it with a lot of people. He ain't want it with Francis and Ghana. I said that way before he clearly ducked this nigga, but yeah, John Jones is UFC, whatever, whatever. 